Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekend reading. This is for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10, 9, uh, 10 11, 12. Okay, this is going to be exposing your soulmate's true feelings in the extended reading. Here we're going to look at the situation that you're in so that you can make a better judgment. Okay, so thank you very much guys for watching. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. Okay, here we go. You have your Ten of Cups. Your Taurus, you're happy. <laughs> I don't know what else I can say that. You're happy, you're enjoying your time, you're enjoying your life. Okay, it can be with the water sign over here. Emotional bliss is here. When emotional bliss, it means um, you're happy because, plain and simple, what you're getting from the person is what you have expected. Okay, because this is a wish granted. This is what you have wished for is the Nine of Cups. Finality comes with a Ten. can be a water sign. Um, this is the ha the happy energy after bad energy, basically, because the rainbow is there. So there was some trouble before you can get to the Ten of Cups. Meaning, um, if there was if there was a storm, it was a hurricane. Okay, and then you get the rainbow. So that's what you're having here. The Four of Swords. Um, with your soulmate over here, you're requiring healing. You're requiring timeout. Okay. Um, it's almost like the storm, the rainbow, happiness. And now it's just time to contemplate. Analyze the situation. Someone is doing some deep thoughts over here. Someone is thinking deeply of the situation that they just had. Yes, it can be happy, but it doesn't mean that you're just there. Here comes now recovery if there was the um, the energy of being being um, sad and depressed with the Three of Swords also. This is now the healing part. So you can be with a soulmate who's healing. You can be with a, with a person who's non-responsive because they're healing themselves. Okay? But there is stability with regards to, you know, like you can be emotionally satisfied with a person and yet you're not with them. Because this doesn't mean, this can be a relationship, yes. But this doesn't mean that it, this is this is the happily ever after card. Yes, I understand that. But with the Four of Swords over here, someone is doing some deep thoughts about their own life, how to put the puzzle pieces together, and how to move with it. Okay? That's the Four of Swords. Ace of Pentacles is a new cycle. can be an offering. Um, for some people, um, you know, they're telling me it's a peace offering. Um, the Ace of Pentacles over here, Earth Energy, meaning um, you, Taurus, as, a, uh, as an Earth sign, you're giving an opportunity to someone. They could have broken your heart past days, and here comes a new beginning. Because there was a Three of Swords here at somewhere down the line. There was. But the Three of Swords energy is already sorted out, you know. With the Ten of Cups, that love is involved. That love was has healed you during that time, or this person has healed them. And now here comes Ten of Pentacles is the finality. Here comes the beginning, Ace of Pentacles. The situation I was asking you towards, should you accept the offer? Are you going to go with it? Are you going to take this new beginning with this person? Okay. Or this person, when you offer this to this person, did they accept it? Wow. I think they did, or you did. <laughs> okay, that's the sun card. The sun card energy is happy. <laughs> okay. Both happy on both ends, guys. Both of you are happy. But both or both already also has said has said some hurtful stuff. Four of Swords over here. Both hurt each other. Um it required a new beginning. Clean slate. Let's have it a new go. The sun card is the enlightenment part. So something was revealed to you. How you feel towards this person, how they feel towards you, it was revealed to them with the sun card. It can be a Leo um, or another fire sign. The sun card over here is showing being on the same direction. Same direction doesn't mean same page. Okay, those are different. Same direction means should you decide to proceed, you proceed. Okay, whatever that may be. Okay, there's a sun and the baby over here. Pure, moving on, growth is there. You only follow basically the sun card. The sun card is the the soulmate card also. You follow this because this is an energy where it gives you growth. The sun gives us growth. The sun is this, you know, well I have to say the center of the solar system and everything revolves around it. In essence, the sun is love, and you center yourself in it, and you just keep going with it. 
it gives you growth it gives you it keeps you in a cycle um it keeps you um how to say this um in an energy where you feel that you can wake up again the next morning and it, you're not gonna be dead with the emotion and feelings so don't forget this person did hurt you and you hurt them but you have to accept the ace of pentacles before you can go with the sun card it is a happy ending though i'm sensing here because both sided with love and both ended with a major arcana that is love okay so i'm going to continue this reading um taurus with your um your showmates true feelings and also you know their situation at the same time because that's what we're going to see in our extended reading all right i think i repeated myself thank you very much for watching your weekend reading i'll see you guys again bye